So I asked this because it's not a super big surprise. Anyone that's had, so I had a rear wheel drive 2023 Model 3. It was just called the rear wheel drive. They had the all wheel mm -hmm. drive and they had the performance at that time. The rear wheel drive was LFP and that battery was 60 kilowatts. And the surprising thing was it actually got pretty close to what the EPA estimate was before Tesla got slapped. Um, whereas like the all wheel drive and the performance, I didn't really think that they did in my personal mm -hmm. testing. But the thing was the LFP, the rear wheel drive model three, and even currently, um, like if you go back a year or so, whenever they had like the lower end ones, it was like 170 kilowatt DC fast charging. Hmm. So it's not super surprising. And actually the way that that worked out, it was on par at, or almost faster than the 250 kilowatt because the pack was so different in size. Now that this one's 70 kilowatt at 225. Well, I don't curve, know if it's 70 kilowatt. That's just speculation. But that makes a lot of sense just with the given efficiency of yeah. being around four and change uh, miles per kilowatt, the onboard charger. So the AC charger, that was the thing I wanted to mention. When they did rear wheel drive 170 DC fast charging, the onboard AC charger, I think was like nine or seven kilowatts. I forget what it was. It was between seven and nine. So I'm curious, they probably have reduced the onboard AC charging as well to not just under, you know, 11 and a half. They probably have reduced that too. Yeah, so they might have. I'm, I'm not sure that has to come later with testing.